Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to rig a lake and I'm going to be using uh, the IK method, a mixture of IK and FK which basically uh, allows you to control the entire lake with one bone. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is model our lake and it's going to be really simple. So using this cube um, what we're going to do is I uh, go to uh, edit mode, uh, press S, Z, scale it up on the Z axis, uh, press control R, and that will add in a loop cut, and scroll up on your mouse wheel and add in, uh, well, just one actually, we'll just add one, and right click to place it, uh, control R again, left click, and drag it right next to it, control R, so right now we're just adding some mesh for our knee to uh, be able to blend, or for our leg to be able to bend at the knee. So that's pretty much all we have to do for our leg. Well, actually, no. Control R again. Uh, I forgot we have to add in a foot. So grab these faces right here with B for box select, and E to extrude, and grab it out on the Y axis, like so. And for good measure, let's just add in another loop cut right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's all we have to do for our foot. It looks awesome, right? No. Okay, so press 3 and then 5 on your uh, numpad to go into orthographic side view. You can also do that by going to view, view perspective ortho, and then view uh, right. Okay, and I will do the same thing. So press Z, uh, Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe so that we can see everything. Press Shift A, add armature single bone. Okay, so that will add in an armature bone right at our 3D cursor. So what we're gonna have to do is grab this up so that it is right at the top of the cube. If you press Control, it'll snap it to the grid since we uh, scaled our cube up by snapping to the grid when we began. Okay, next press Tab to go into edit mode and with armature bones, you can either move them by right-clicking the entire bone, or you can move them by uh, right-clicking the tip of them, or the base of them. So we're going to right-click the tip, and we're going to press G to grab, and we're going to grab it, holding control, to the knee, right where the middle of this leg would be. Uh, next, we're going to extrude it again, so press E, and extrude the tip of the, uh, tip of the bone, and grab it down to the ankle area, and then E to extrude again, grab it, this will be the foot bone, and that's basically that. Okay, so before we do anything else, three on your, three on your numpad again, uh, we are going to first position this knee a little bit forward because naturally legs have a slight bend in them, and that will also help with our IK bone. And then press N to bring up your uh, properties panel, right click the top bone, and we're gonna name our bone. So we're gonna name this one uh, Thigh and this one will be shin. And if we had two legs, we, we'd, we could always do uh, dot L or dot R, um, but right now we only have one leg, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, and then this bone is gonna be called the foot. Okay, so now we have to go about adding in our IK bones. Um, normally, uh, you could rig a, a leg just like this and it would be perfectly fine, but I'm going to add in some IK bones. And when you do this, it's really important to keep your parenting relationships in mind. Um, those are at the base of everything for your uh, IK leg and for IKs in general. So to view our parenting relationships, we have to go to the bone properties here. Just click on the little bone. And you'll see that the foot is parented to the shin, which is parented to the thigh. So that's perfect right now. But we want a bone that's not parented to anything. So Shift D to duplicate this bone and move it right here. Um, just underneath the foot. And this is going to be our IK controller bone. So let's name that IK underscore control. Okay. We don't want this one to have a parent. Um, IK bones can have parents, but normally it gets them into uh, uh, problems with controlling the IKs. If you don't know what IK is, uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, don't worry. Uh, you'll see quite soon what it means. Okay. So this one shouldn't have a parent. Um, 
Next, we're going to duplicate this foot again. Shift D. Rotate it. And scale it. This one's going to be called the heel. Okay. This one can be parented to the foot. That's fine. Uh, next, we are going to uh, duplicate our shit, our <coughs> Thin bone, or <laughs> our shin bone, and we're gonna shift D, duplicate it, and we have to rotate it, scale it down, and drag it out toward, not really the knee is, but at the level of the knee, drag it out to about there. So what this will basically be is a point for our legs to point at, and so we could um, have our character have their knee always point to this bone, and I will make it so that our knee doesn't snap back on us or um, yeah, do anything that would be normally physically impossible for a human to do. So this is really important in our IK relationship. So uh, this knee bone has to be parented to the uh, uh, to what is this? The heel bone. Heel bone. Okay. Heel. And uh, let's see. Let's name it the knee. Okay, perfect. So this is when we start to um, set up our IKs. So press Control Tab to go into your pose mode. This is where you set them up. Select your IK controller. Shift right click your shin bone and do Control I. Oh, I'm sorry, not I, just I. <laughs> oh, Shift I. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it is. Shift I to active bone. And that will add in our IK. Shift I, sorry. <laughs> okay. So to mess with the settings for IK, you have to go to the Bone Constraints panel, which is the little linking things right here. And one thing you have to do is increase the chain length. Increase it to two. Basically what that does is it makes it have, if you decrease it to one, you'll see that right now it is only affecting this bone. But if we increase it to two, this bone's position will affect this bone's rotation in a way. So now if we were to move this up, the knee would bend as this origin met this origin, the origin of the shin, or the, uh, yeah, the end of the shin. So that's cool. But if we were to move this around a little bit, you could see that we have a lot of problems with the knee bending back on itself, which would obviously be really uh, difficult to do um, to handle when we're trying to animate. So to do that, to fix that, what we do is make this one also an IK bone, but make this its point. So right click the knee, shift right click your thigh bone, and do shift I to active bone. And make the chain length one. So now if we were to move this, we can move it out as far as we want, and the knee will always be pointing forward and it won't bend back on us. Now we can rotate our foot bone and nothing will happen um, to the IKs. We can move this and nothing will happen. But we the cool thing is you can move this left and right and your knee your knee will point, your whole foot will, um, your whole leg will point towards that bone. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you wanted to make it even more powerful, you can increase the chain length of your thigh and you can move it like that and it will affect more of the bone. Or we're gonna move it back to one. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Let's just go ahead now and um, first save. Um, save it. It is my uh, knee IK setup. Or leg IK. Anyways. Select your mesh. Uh, control tab. Or actually just go to object mode on your armature. Right click your leg. Shift right click your armature. And do control P. Parent to the bone with automatic weights. Okay. So now we have our leg moving if we uh, control tab to go back into post mode. Something if you want to, uh, if you want to do this, if you want to be able to see your bones through your object, go to the bone object data and enable x-ray. And that will enable you to see the bone through the object. So if we move it now, you can see that our leg is bending perfectly. And we can rotate this guy. Obviously this is really low poly, so um, not much is uh, happening, but yeah, you can see that we have a uh, working leg and we could easily attach this to uh, an entire body's rig and it would work really well. So thank you for watching this tutorial. This was how to rig a leg in Blender.